Hey guys, it's Run Young. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I got a new bow here for 2024, Matthew's Lift. I have it pretty much all built out, ready to go for the hunting season. But you might notice I have one thing missing here, and that's a grip. Well, I took the stop grip off because the back was just too round for my liking, and I wasn't able to get a consistent grip on the bow. I would torque it without noticing, so I stripped that grip off of it. But now it looks kind of really ugly because uh, the bare riser on the side is just has a bunch of ugly holes in it. And uh, I wanted to get the Matthews engaged side plates, but those are like $60 for two tiny pieces of plastic. So I'm not doing that. I said I actually got a 3D printer. I'm going to make my own side plates and I have that right here. All right, here it is. I ordered the Anchor Make M5 off Amazon. It was about 300 US dollars. Those side plates from Matthews are 60 US dollars. So I think it's definitely worth it. Let's open this bad boy up. Got a quick start guide right here. Looks like we got a small tool kit, some filament, a glue stick, some screws and bolts, a power cord, and I think this is the actual 3D printer. Okay, here it is, the actual 3D printer itself, or part of it at least. The printing platform right there. Looks like I'm going to have to assemble this. So the printer was actually pretty easy to assemble. It only took about eight screws and a few USB-C connectors and other connectors. Um, it does come with interesting foam layout and packaging that allows you to stack them together and get you the right height to assemble the printer by yourself. So that you can hold the base plate up vertically and the tower will be at the right height to screw it in. So I set the 3D printer up, assembled it, and now it's just auto leveling itself. I'll let it work for a while. This is really cool. I've never tried playing around with any 3D printers or anything like that. So it's a new experience for me. So here I'm just downloading the Anchor Make app off the App Store. It's very convenient. I just need to Google the template that I want or the model that I want, download the model, send it to the app, and then the app will allow me to print it off on the printer. Super easy. So after I send the model to the printer and I select the infill and the speed that I want it to print at, the printer will just heat up and start going. As you can see right here, the printer just starts by itself and you leave it until it's done. Guys, the side plates are taking form. 23 minutes left. You can see that the shape is starting to look like actual side plates so this is the result of the 3d print um, i wasn't really too happy with the quality on this print and the amount of fill so i adjusted the settings and i'm going to reprint it i also i'm printing a model without these lines in them as well about 10 minutes left on this second print it's looking way better already looks a lot more precise and clean so i think i'll be happy with these ones so as you can see, the 3D printed plates are finished. I printed them with this nice uh, tan color PLA to match the earth color lift. Uh, color is pretty close. As you can see, there are some surface imperfections there, but that's fine with me. I'm gonna be taping up my grip anyways. I'm just gonna have to attach these with some double-sided tape and then I'll be good to go. If you liked the video please like please comment please subscribe stay tuned for more thanks for watching guys